Hello and welcome to my class. Uh, so, uh, you're getting me right here uh, in my living room because this is the quarantine and this is how we do classes now. Uh, so yeah, so this is Differential Equations. Um, welcome to my class. Uh, if you're a bystander coming in on YouTube, you're free to follow along, but this is actually set up for an actual class that I'm teaching uh, at the University of South Florida. So, uh, hello to all my students and, uh, and welcome. So this is where you're going to get most of your uh, lectures, so through YouTube, which is a combination of uh, me talking to you here and also uh, some things I record on my tablet. Uh, tablet, if you've never seen one. Uh, these Apple pencils are actually fantastic. You should definitely, it, if I was an undergrad, I would definitely get one of these uh, for note taking and everything, because I can keep everything in here. I can do a screen recording and, uh, and that's how I deliver my lectures. In any case, uh, so um, yeah, that, that's that's how we're going to teach this class. Uh, so what is differential equations? I guess we should talk about that. So differential equations is basically the culmination of calculus. So what you learned from Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3, uh, that's all fine and dandy, um, but the way that you really use uh, calculus is through what are called differential equations. These are things that arise from physics, uh, mechanical engineering, uh, electrical engineering, etc. And, um, and this is how you actually uh, build up equations uh, of motion or for voltage or all these other things um, using uh, calculus. Uh, so now, uh, you know, the good news is is that actually the the work of differential equations isn't actually all that complicated. Uh, mostly it uses the same things you learn in calculus too, just over and over again. Uh, you just need to learn how to restructure a problem so you can actually approach it uh, with your traditional calculus techniques. So there's uh, four chapters uh, that we're going to go through. Um, so we have chapter one and two, or we're going to go through most of those. Chapter one is like qualitative type stuff, basically definition of what's a, you know, what's a differential equation. Uh, two, uh, chapter two is basically all the ways that we know how to solve a differential equation, uh, you know, using straight calculus two techniques. Um, and so we reformulate everything uh, and, uh, and basically exploit things like the chain rule and, uh, you know, uh, the product rule, etc., and, and turn them into techniques for solving differential equations. Uh, so then after that, we're briefly going to touch into the applications chapter, which is chapter three. Um, and so I, I, would, uh, I, I would be doing you a disservice if we never talked about an application. Um, but after that, I want to jump into uh, chapter four, which is um, linear differential equations with constant coefficients. So this actually comes up uh, a good deal in, in applications, and so you should really know everything you can about solving it. So that's chapter four, we cover almost all of it. And then we final, finalize the class by going over a Laplace transform, which is uh, one of the main ways that people uh, do analysis on uh, differential equations. So, um, so for instance, out of control theory, uh, for instance, um, you know, we have, uh, you know, what they call like root locus methods uh, for uh, determining control and stability. Uh, we have, um, yeah, I know in uh, Circus 2 uses Laplace transforms uh, a good deal in order to, you know, resolve the equations there. And um, signal processing uh, builds on the Laplace transform and replaces with a Fourier transform, but they're really not that different. So. Um, so yeah, there, there's a dozen ways that Laplace transform yeah, it will end up helping you later on. So then I can confidently tell you you can leave my class and, uh, and go on and, and do fun things in your major. Uh, so I, if you want, you actually all my Laplace transform lectures are up. Uh, right when the quarantine hit is when we're jumping into chapter 7 for the Laplace transform. Uh, so I, we'll go back in time once we get there. And, um, but yeah, uh, and my hair will be uh, considerably shorter. Um, but yeah, in any case, um, yeah, so that, that's basically gonna be the class. Uh, as far as the structure of the class, uh, the grading and stuff like that, uh, there's gonna be quizzes that are gonna be held in Canvas. Uh, there's gonna be exams, we're gonna have three exams. And, um, and if you want a preview of what the exams look like, I one of the last videos I did for my for my spring class, which is up right now, uh, is basically a speed run through three exams. So if you are curious and sit, want to see what that looks like, uh, go ahead and check that out. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll go over the, de the details in the syllabus in particular, but the bulk of the grade comes down to your exams. 
Um, I think uh, the homework grade uh, is like 10%, uh, if I remember right. Uh, it's 15% for the quiz grade, and then, um, and then after that, I think it's 15% each for uh, each of the exams. And so, um, the three regular exams. And so where does that bring us up to? So uh, that's 60, 70, and then so that leaves, uh, what is that, 30%? Uh, yeah, I think 30% is left over for the final exam. Um, so, I, one thing I would like to say is that uh, in this class, I would like to be able to give you the opportunity to uh, jump out at the end after exam three. If you're happy with your exam average, uh, then you are free to skip the final, uh, which will be a cumulative exam on the materials of exam one, two, and three. Um, and so, so there, uh, if you want, uh, you can improve your grade by taking the final and getting a better grade on it um, at no cost. Uh, you, you can't do worse than, uh, what you, than what we put there, which is the average. Uh, I should clarify. The, the final, you have the option to take it or just take the average of your of your exam one, two, and three grades and apply that to the final. And I, I, I did this last semester and I th feel like it worked out really well for a lot of students. And so, um, so I'd like to try that again and, and see if, uh, see how that goes. Um, let's see, other things I should talk about. Um, so I'm gonna try to get up about uh, two lectures uh, a week, so two of these videos a week. And, um, and then we'll have discussions in Canvas. Uh, and then, um, and occasionally I will do a video where I just accumulate uh, solutions to all of the homework problems and, uh, and then, uh, and yeah, or not all the homework problems, but a good chunk of them. And, and then uh, that way it can give you guys more guidance. Um, let's see. But yeah, anyway, so maybe I should finish with just talking about myself a bit. So uh, I have a PhD in mathematics. I'm your professor, that's probably not a surprise. Um, I got my PhD in 2013 at the University of Florida, which now is coming up on like seven years ago. Um, after that, I was a postdoc in mechanical engineering for four years underneath Warren Dixon over at the University of Florida. So, um, and I did a lot of control theory, nonlinear control theory, and so it dealt with a lot of like really out there differential equations, um, some with switch systems, some with hybrid systems, etc. And then I, I transitioned to work as a postdoc for a year at Vanderbilt underneath uh, Taylor T. Johnson. Um, and, uh, and so I worked with him on some formal, formal methods, and, uh, and then I continued to work with him for the next year where I was a research professor at Vanderbilt University in the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department. So uh, then I came here at uh, the University of South Florida, and, and now I'm here in my living room uh, back in the fall of 2019. And so now this is actually the third time teaching uh, differential equations because somehow I keep getting this class. Um, and so I, yeah, well, I, now since I um, had taught the class uh, in spring when we had the COVID-19 and then we, I started doing these YouTube videos, I figured that uh, I might as well just do it again over the summer and the completionist in me wants me to have an entire set of differential equations lectures. So if anybody ever asks, I'd be like, you wanna learn differential equations? Well, here, check out this playlist and then, you know, they can go check it out. Um, but yeah. Uh, in any case, um, so yeah, uh, so there'll be more details uh, on Canvas. Um, the syllabus is up there if you check the files. Uh, the homeworks will be turned in through Canvas uh, and the assignments. You just take pictures of your cell phone and upload them. Um, the exams and quizzes will be conducted, I think, through Canvas. The quizzes definitely. Uh, the exams we might set up through uh, Proctorio, and so I need to see exactly how that's going to work. Um, yeah. In any case, uh, welcome to my class, and I will look forward to working with you. And uh, yeah, um, oh, I'll, before I leave, I should apologize about my first lecture. I've already kind of recorded it. Um, I stumbled and I started recording for lecture 1.2, and I forgot that section 1.2 has all the definitions. So it sort of backtracks a bit and gives you definitions. It ends up being kind of slapdash. Most of the lectures will be a little bit more coherent than that. Um, but yeah, just so you know, uh, don't panic if, uh, if you don't like the structure of the next one. And, uh, and I'll repeat a lot of things uh, in there too. Um, okay, so yeah.
All right, thank you for listening, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in class, or I won't see you. All right, bye.